Did you hear the last monetary dialogue? Member of the European Parliament, Rasmus Andersen, posed a great question. Why is the ECB tightening if climate change requires huge investments in green sectors? Listen to Lagarde's answer. There is a big investment need. To structure those investments, investors need to understand where inflation will be, where prices will be. If inflation is out of hands, this will not work because investments will not take place. We need to be able to anchor expectations so that those who invest appreciate that in three years, five years, ten years, inflation will be kept under control. Is she really telling the full story? Taking a closer look, it doesn't look like it. She's rather presenting a false dilemma. It's not all black and white. Fighting inflation is not the only thing that the ECB can do to promote green investments. Current tightening measures can have a disproportionate impact on green businesses that require a lot of investment. But here's the deal. The ECB can differentiate the interest rate for green sectors and the rest of the economy. This will not be a new practice. Throughout history, central banks have protected strategic sectors during tightening episodes. For example, the French and the German central bank protected businesses that exported during the 70s and 80s. We already know, in fact, we have experienced in the last years how fluctuations in fossil fuel prices lead to inflation. The same can be said about climate change. We are seeing how extreme weather events as heat waves affect crop yields, rising food prices. This is why protecting green investments is key to maintaining future price stability. The ECB can and should fight inflation while protecting key green sectors. So why aren't they doing it? 